Welcome back. So if you guys remember our old delete function, I had to go in whenever I removed the customer. I went in and I actually deleted all his orders before I deleted the customer. And the reason was that the constraint would kind of make sure that if you have an order with a customer ID, you cannot delete the customer because then you wouldn't have that relation. But since I just changed my Fluent API and said, well, it's actually allowed now to say you can delete a customer if you want to, because I don't care about the relation. I just want to keep the order in there still, but it will be anonymous. I don't know who it belongs to, what customer it belonged to, but I still have the order in my system. If I want to do like some kind of annual uh, order, I don't know, report of some kind to see what I actually sold this year. Right, so let's just try and jump into the customer repo. And now I should actually be able to just comment this out now, right? Because I don't have to delete the orders anymore to kind of get, uh, remove the customer. Let's just try and start this now and see what happens and see if we can actually do this now without getting an exception back saying you're not allowed to delete customers while they still have orders available. Let's try and jump into Postman right here and just have a look. First of all, let's just get the customers. There we go. Now he doesn't see it, show any orders right now, but that's because I didn't set that up. Let's try and get customer one and see if he actually has some orders. Right. Remember, you have to set up if you want to read all to get all the customers and their orders, then you need to set that up in your code, right? So I didn't do that, but he does have two orders on him right here. So let me also just to be sure that the order one is actually is related to the customer. I'll just get orders uh, with ID one and you should see an order right here with the customer. So they are related. And now what I want to do is I want to try and delete customer one and see what happens. So I'll do delete right here and I'll say customers of one pretty much like this. And then I'll try and fire this and hopefully it'll delete it. And notice I didn't get an exception, right? Because even though I didn't delete all like I did before, because I allowed now in my Fluent API that it's okay on delete to just set it as null, then it will actually not get an exception anymore. It'll just set the customer to null inside my order. So let's just try and see now if I get the order again, right? If I get orders of one, is it deleted? No, it's not, but the customer is null. So that's how easy it is for you using the Fluent API to actually start manipulating the tables and setting new constraints if you don't want the default ones that Microsoft provides. Now I want to add one more thing. Before I record this video, I just made a few changes to the order repository. For instance, the read all wasn't implemented. Now it is. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.